The US has begun deploying a new type of low-yield nuclear warhead aboard some ballistic missile submarines, according to a report by an independent monitor. As per a post by the Federation of American Scientists, when the USS Tennessee, an Ohio-class submarine, went on patrol in the final weeks of 2019, it carried one or two of the new weapons. The new warhead is designated as W-76-2. As per some reports, USS Tennessee, which left port in Georgia at the end of 2019, is the first submarine to go on patrol armed with the W-76-2 warhead. The Ohio-class sub is thought to be currently patrolling the Atlantic Ocean. Hans Christensen, director of the group's nuclear information project, stated, "...it's apparently still out there now and expected to come back sometime in February." He believes a second submarine carrying the weapon may also be patrolling in the Pacific. The Pentagon officially declined to comment on the report. It's U.S. policy to neither confirm nor deny the presence or absence of nuclear weapons at any general or specific location. As such, we cannot confirm or deny this reporting at this time," it said in a written statement to NPR. The warheads were produced by the Department of Energy over the past year. An Energy Department spokesperson confirmed to NPR in November that they had been transferred to the U.S. Navy. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes deployment of tactical nuclear warhead W-76-2 in Trident II SLBM carried by Ohio-class submarine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is a free-to-play game that enables you to command a mammoth naval fleet featuring some of history's most iconic war vessels, including the USS Indianapolis. You can unlock new warships as you immerse yourself in this highly comprehensive game. The game currently has 300 ships across 10 different nations and 30 million players worldwide. The detailed graphics is the strong point of World of Warships. The warships are accurately designed like the real ones, and this along with weather effects and realistic battle scenarios make you feel like you're there. It's interesting to note that the game is updated frequently, and each week there's something new to experience, with a steady flow of new missions, game updates, and events to keep you and your friends engaged for hours on end. World of Warships has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you 250 doubloons, 3 days premium account with 1 million credits, 1 premium ship USS Charleston, as well as 1 port slot if you register for the first time. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and use the code BATTLESTATIONS2020 to get your bonus. The Ohio class is a class of nuclear-powered submarines that considered to be one of the most lethal platforms in the world. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines. SSGN. The Ohio class boats entered service in the 1980s as a replacement for five different classes of ballistic missile submarines. Ohio class was created to be the ultimate nuclear deterrence. The logic of nuclear deterrence is like this. While a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombs, it's very difficult to track a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean and it's almost impossible to take them all out in the first strike. So, ballistic missile submarines deter any enemy from launching a preemptive first strike. The Ohio-class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy, having a displacement of 16,764 tons. These have a length of 560 feet that's 170 meters, and have a speed of about 20 to 25 knots. Being nuclear-powered, it has unlimited range and endurance, limited only by food supplies. Each Ohio-class submarine has two crews of 154 officers and enlisted personnel, designated Gold and Blue, who take turns departing on patrols that last an average of 70 to 90 days underwater, with the longest on record being 140 days by the USS Pennsylvania. An average of a month is spent between patrols with resupply facilitated by three large-diameter supply hatches. Trident II was designed to be more advanced than its predecessor, Trident I. Trident II was put into service in 1990. It has a greater range and payload capacity compared to Trident I. 
The missile is 13.579 meters in length and 2.11 meters in diameter and weighs in at 58.5 tons. It's a three-stage rocket, each stage containing a solid fuel rocket motor. It's thought to have an accuracy of 90 meters CEP. Trident 2 has a range of 11,000 kilometers or 6,835 miles and Ohio-class ballistic submarines carry 24 of these. Trident 2 is a multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV, missile. Each Trident 2 can carry up to 14 W88 475 kiloton warheads or 14 W76-1 100 kiloton warheads. To give the viewer perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped in Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. New START Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty between the United States and the Russian Federation agreed to having only eight warheads per missile. So currently, each Trident II is armed with eight warheads. In short, a full salvo from an Ohio-class submarine, which can be launched in less than a minute, could unleash up to 24 multiple eight, in other words, 192 nuclear warheads. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. The new W-76-2 warhead seems to be a variant of the W-76-1 warhead. According to Christensen, W-76-2 could have a relatively small yield of around 5 kilotons, which is about the third the size of the Hiroshima bomb. Whereas the W-76 is a strategic weapon, W-76-2 is a tactical one. W-76-2 was developed in response to the Trump administration's nuclear posture review which stated the need for smaller nukes. The U.S. government's 2018 Nuclear Posture Review NPR, pointed to the fact that Russia is lowering its threshold for using low-yield nuclear weapons in wartime and warned that the U.S. must move to match this capability. The NPR stated, Russia's belief that limited nuclear first use, potentially including low-yield weapons, can provide such an advantage is based, in part, on Moscow's perception that its greater number and variety of non-strategic nuclear systems provide a coercive advantage in crises and at lower levels of conflict. Nuclear Posture Review indicated that Russia was prepared to use a small tactical nuke in a conflict. Russia's defense budget is around 10% that of the U.S. and will be hard for it to sustain a conventional war against the U.S. and NATO. In this situation, it could deploy tactical nukes to tilt the balance in its side. Since the U.S. didn't have tactical nukes, it couldn't have responded to such a move by Russia, and using strategic nukes would escalate a regional conflict to full-scale nuclear war. This basically meant that with tactical nukes, Russia could have made U.S. or NATO to back down. This is where the new American warhead will be useful. Many analysts have pointed out that a move towards tactical nukes will lower the threshold of a nuclear war. Critics of the W-76-2 warhead say that it shifts the thinking of looking at nuclear weapons from a means of deterrence to a means to fight and win a conflict. This could have grave consequences and the security situation will worsen. Viewers may note that on the 2nd of August 2019, one of the most important arms controls treaties, the INF Treaty, formally expired. INF Treaty was signed by Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev in 1987. It banned ground-launched missiles with ranges of 500 kilometers to 5,500 kilometers. That's 310 to 3,420 miles. The INF Treaty eliminated around 2,700 nuclear and conventional missiles as well as their launchers. U.S. is already testing a ground-launched missile, which was earlier banned under the INF Treaty. In response, Russia has indicated that it will also field similar weapons that could potentially carry tactical nukes.
Now with the introduction of W762 Warhead, the situation will surely vitiate further. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.